everyone, welcome to Daria Crochet Live. My name is Daria. Today I have uh, a really good tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to crochet fedora hat. This is very nice hat. I enjoyed wearing it and I enjoyed making it. So I decided to show you how to make this really beautiful and simple hat. So let me show you what you will need in order to make this hat. Uh, first of all, you will need some yarn. I'm gonna use a uh, Katya marble uh, yarn. Uh, and in order to make the hat, you will need two balls of that. Let me show you uh, characteristics of this yarn. So this is uh, raffia. 100% uh, um, cellulose, which is like raffia. So you can take any raffia you want. Uh, in this particular yarn, um, one ball has 50 grams, and in 50 grams, it is 165 meters or 180 yards. So try to find some similar raffia with a similar uh, yardage. Uh, the color is 53. It is very very beautiful color i like it so it is the same color that i used for this um, hat also you will need crochet hook i'm gonna use 3.5 millimeter crochet hook i tried several and i think this number is uh, is the best for this uh, for this raffia also i'll need some scissors uh, and marker yeah, we will need just one marker. Make sure that you take the marker that will that you can open and close, not just the ring, because you cannot use it with crocheting. So take just one marker. And at the end, in order to uh, to make this edge stronger, to strengthen the edge, uh, you can see here I have something inside of my last row. It's really invisible from the like distance <laughs> but we, we you you will need uh, something to strengthen the edge and i find out the best solution it is this one <laughs> it is wire rope uh, i bought this uh, in home depot but i'm sure you can find one in amazon so this particular wire rope is uh, so this is the size of my wire rope and it looks like this it is very very strong so make sure that you have something to cut this uh, wire rope and i bought this wire rope uh, cutter i bought it on amazon it is very strong so and it cuts perfectly uh, i will link all products um, in description down below so make sure to check uh, description and at the end at the very very end you will need this body uh, it is um, starch so you you will need we will need we will use it in order to to fix uh, our hat you know when we have a shape of the hat so this will help to prevent it from losing the shape. So basically, that's it. That's it that you need. Just raffia, hook, marker, scissors, wire rope, and some starch. Okay, we begin with um, very basic stuff. So you need to make the first stitch by making a... Um, slip knot so make a slip knot insert your hook into this loop and we're ready to go so I want you to make eight chains so chain eight stitches three four five six seven eight so you're supposed to have eight uh, stitches at the beginning. Then count the third 
chain from the hook so not the first not the second but the third one and insert your hook there into the third chain and make one single crochet then I want you to make four more single crochets each one will go into its own space into the next space I'm making the second single crochet then third fourth and fifth then uh, into this last chain I want you to make three single crochets and all of them will go into this last chain so that will help to turn our work a little bit and the last one so now you see we turned our work uh, this tail short tail you can put very close to to the edge of your single crochets and when you will we will insert um, our hook into the next space make sure that this tail will lay very close so you will weave these uh, while you are crocheting then you need to make uh, five single crochets each one will go into its own space into the next space I'm making my first then second third and fourth and fifth then you need to find next space which is here this uh, single crochet and you need to make five single crochets and all of them will go into one space one, two, three, four, and five. And this is how you make your first uh, row. Your first row is done. And at the end of this row, you're supposed to have 18 stitches. Then I'm taking my marker and I'm installing marker on top of the last single crochet so you should remember that the marker will always show you the last stitch uh, in a row in the second row I want you to make six single crochet Then into the next space I'm making three single crochets so this is that would be increase but not just usual increase you are making three single crochets into the same place then six normal single crochets each one goes into its own space two three four five and six um, next five spaces one two three four and five I'm making five increases so uh, increase that's mean you're making two single crochet in one space instead of one you're making two I did one increase that's second increase, third increase, fourth increase. And when I came to the marker, I'm just taking away the marker, 
finishing the row by making two in uh, single crochets into the last space and I am installing the marker into the last single crochet and this is how you what you're supposed to have uh, after two rows and after this row you need to have 25 um, single crochets count them and make sure that you have 25 next row you start with seven single crochet into the next space you're making three single crochet all of them will go into the same place then seven single crochet each one goes into its own space then you need to make one increase into the next space so making two single crochet into one space then one single crochet into the next space and you need to repeat this to the end of this row so you are making one increase one single crochet one increase one single crochet one increase one single crochet last increase and make the last single crochet into the last space and don't forget to put the marker back so that's what you need to have after making uh, row number three and at the end of this row you need to have 32 single crochets uh, you know what I'm taking my scissors and I can cut this tail because I don't want them I don't want it to be here so next row number five uh, sorry number four you are making seven single crochet next uh, you need to make three increases so I'm making two single crochet in one space that would be one increase two single crochet into the next space second increase and two single crochet into the third space So I made three increases, then I'm making eight single crochet, each one goes into its own space. Then I'm making one increase, two single crochet, each one goes into its own space. I repeat these four times, so that was one one increase two single crochet one increase two single crochet that's three one increase two single crochet Uh, then I'm making one increase and finish this row with one single crochet into the last space. Transferring the marker, flatten everything. And at the end of this row, uh, number four, you're supposed to have 40 stitches. Next row, number five, you begin with seven single crochet. Then I want you to make uh, one increase. 
and one single crochet and you need to repeat these uh, three times so there was one one increase one single crochet there was one then you're making one increase and one single crochet that's two and one increase and one single crochet that's three then make nine single crochet each one go into its own space you finish nine single crochet then uh, i want you to make one increase three single crochet each one will go into its own space and that was the first set so those uh, increase and three single crochet that was one i want you to repeat this part three more times one increase three single crochet one increase three single crochet one increase three single crochet and at the end make one increase and one last single crochet into the last space put marker back at the end of this row you're supposed to have 48 stitches uh, next two rows row number six and number seven uh, work without any increases and um, please make 48 single crochet in every row don't forget to uh, transfer the marker so work like this for two more rows so this is what you supposed to have after making uh, seven rows I think it looks like avocado uh, and now we are ready for the row number eight so i want you to make one increase and then please make seven single crochet and repeat this in total six times so uh, you're supposed to work like this to the end of the row and at the end of this row you will have 54 single crochet in the ninth row I don't want you to make any increases and and I want you to work uh, 54 single crochet so don't make any increases work one single crochet in every space uh, row number 10 make four single crochet then one increase then eight single crochet and repeat the part one increase eight single crochet um, in total five times so almost to the end of the row and at the end of the row make one increase and four single crochet and at the end of this row you will have a 60 single crochet so four single crochet one increase eight 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 single crochet one increase four single crochet and at the end in total you will have 60 stitches in in 11th row work without any increases and make 60 single crochet in this row Uh, in 12th row make one increase and then nine single crochet 
repeat this uh, in total six times and at the end you're supposed to have 66 single crochet. Uh, next row number 13 make 66 single crochet so work this row without any increases. Uh, row number 14 make 5 single crochet then one increase and then 10 single crochet and I want you to repeat one increase 10 single crochet five times in total then I want you to make one increase and five single crochet and at the end of this row you're supposed to have 72 single crochet Next two rows, uh, row 15 and row 16, work without any increases and you're supposed to have 72 stitches in each of those rows. Uh, in the 17th row, I want you to make one increase and then 11 single crochet and you're supposed to work like this to the end of this row and at the end of this row you will have 78 single crochet. Next two rows, uh, 18 and 19, work without any increases and you're supposed to have 78 single crochet in both of those rows. Next row number 20, I want you to make two single crochet, then one increase, then 25 uh, single crochets then one increase again 25 single crochet then one increase and work 23 more single crochet so basically work to the end of this row making uh, one single crochet in every space and at the end of this row you will have 81 single crochet uh, next two rows 21 and 22 work without any increases and make uh, and make 81 single crochet in every row in the next row we are gonna make um, 10 single crochets yeah this is row number 24 then make one increase then 26 single crochet then make one more increase and again 26 single crochet Then make one more increase and finish this row with 16 single crochet. And at the end of this row, you're supposed to have 84 single crochet. Okay, uh, rows 25 to 35, I want you to work without any increases and you're supposed to have 84 single crochet in every row. Uh, if you're using different raffia so probably you will need uh, more or less uh, rows so what I want you to do I want you to uh, fold this part like this the head like this fold in half and measure it from one side to another take the measuring tape and measure it from one side to another and that should be um, 36 35 36 centimeters so now I have 24 centimeters which is nine and a half inches so when you will have 
35 or 36 around 14 inches so you can stop there and then we, we can move to another part of the hat which would be the brim so with the the main part of the hat we will finish when you have uh, 35 or 36 centimeters from one uh, edge to another uh, and I think I'll leave this part here uh, because I think that's enough for the part one we'll continue next time uh, thank you so much for watching if you, if you have any questions leave me a comment please like and share this video if it was useful for you and subscribe to my channel don't forget to ring the bell so you will receive notifications about all of my new videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.